Hey guys, this is going to be a quick After Effects tutorial showing you how to create this circular audio spectrum visual effect. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But before we get started, please watch the audio reaction tutorial below as that will help you with some terminology used in this video. Let's get started. Go to File, New, New Project. As always, all of the project files are linked below, so please download those so you can just follow along. So, click on this button right here, which is a new composition button, or go to Composition, New, Composition. Name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Tut for a tutorial. And 1920 by 1080, 30 frame rate, full resolution, and 20 seconds long because that's what I'm using. Or that's how long my song is. Click OK. Now, let's drag all of our project files on, which is an audio layer and a image. This image is my logo. But, you guys can download these product files and follow along. So let's drag both these guys down in the timeline. And let's also create a background. Go to new, solid, BG, name this, whatever you want. That works for me. And now we have a background layer. But let's drag this to the back and modify this with a simple ramp. Click enter, drag that ramp on there, and go to radio ramp. Drag the center of this down to the middle by clicking and dragging this guy or clicking this over here and then expand the ramp out by dragging that number at the end of the ramp and simply swap the colors awesome so we have a nice little gradient effect so let's get started so right click down here click on new solid and name this solid particle effect click OK name the particle effect right above the BG layer and let's go over here and type in particle and go to CC Particle World. So now, this is our particle effect. It's very complex, but I'm going to try to sum it up as fast as possible. Click on the grids and guides and uncheck all of these. If you render with these on, it will actually show you that stuff in your rendering. Then go to birth rate. Birth rate is how fast these particles are showing. So as you can see, I'm going to mute this layer so it's not in our ears. As you can see, it's birthing these particles out just like that. And if you change the birth rate to lower, it will uh, decrease how fast they birth. Longevity is how long they actually last. We're going to increase this longevity to 4, and then go down to producer. And this is what we're going to play around with, uh, the position of our particles. But before we do anything, let's hide our logo layer and then go to physics, because we don't want any gravity. Zero gravity. And also this might help if we hide our background layer as well. So we have zero gravity. So this is basically everything's coming out from the center. So now we can play around with our position X, position Y, position Z. We're going to increase our position Z to about 1.5. So this will make more depth. Just like that. Now we're going to change the radiuses of these effects more. So the radius of the X layer will expand it out sideways. So we can play around with some stuff, see what it looks like. But I think 0.75 looks good right now. Change the Y axis to 0.75. And then we're going to change our Z axis to create this depth. So as you can see, it's creating depth right now. So let's change that to 2.5. So now if we play it, it looks like these particles are actually flying out at us. Now, we're going to change this birth rate down a little bit more just because we don't want that many particles. About 0.5. Eh, even that's too much. So maybe 0.1. Yeah, so we have this nice little particle effect. Now it looks like we're flying in space. We're going into space. So now that that is good, let's go to the um, particle tab. Change this particle type to whatever you want. You can do shaded spheres. You can do literally anything. Um, let's see. Let's go to lens concave, and I like this particle. So this is a nice little particle. They're hard. If you want a soft one, you can do a lens fade, and those are more soft. So I'm going to do something like this, and then you can mess with all these settings, like change the birth rate to make it uh, more particles birth up. So I think this is a good start to our particle effect, but I'm going to change this to 0.3. So now we have that many particles. So now that we have the particles, let's get started with the tutorial. So we can increase our layer now, and we have these particles coming. So in this part of the tutorial, you are going to apply a audio reaction to the background layer so it goes along with our audio um, waveform. I'm going to do that now and then continue on this tutorial. Please watch the video below to learn how to do that. Alright, hopefully your guys' screen looks exactly like mine. If it doesn't, then please follow along in the audio reaction tutorial below until it does. Now, what I pretty much did is 
made the particle effect scale expression link to the slider expression in the audio amplitude. Now what this did is it pretty much made the background react to the bass. And that is explained in the tutorial link below. So now, minimize everything, and as I'm looking at this, the background is way too bright. So let's change that brightness and contrast by finding brightness, dragging onto BG and changing the brightness to negative 40. So that lowered that down. Now let's start making these audio ex or audio spectrum layers. So go to new, solid, name this AS for audio spectrum, and click OK. Drag that AS to the top and go over here to the effects and presets tab and type in audio spectrum. Drag that on there or double click and now make the audio layer audio breaking ice and notice how it's a line. So it's actually going in a straight line, but we want it to go around the actual logo. So click on AS layer and up here in the top, click on the ellipse tool by long pressing and finding ellipse and then simply hold shift and drag this to the size of our layer. Click V once you're done and select the mask down here. And we want to drag this mask around our layer. This color is actually hard to see, so we're gonna change that to something that's easier to see, simply by clicking this color next to the mask button. And it looks great. Make sure this is on none. And we have our mask around here, so let's change the path to mask one. So now that pretty much made the effect go around our thing. So we have to make this pretty now. So since our start frequency is over here on this side, since they just pretty much bent up, we actually want this to be our end. So we're flipping our frequencies. So since our start frequency should be around 1500, since that's what our song, I'm assuming, are the highs sound like, we're gonna change it to 1500. Our end frequency are actually our lows in this case, and that's gonna be one. So our lows are down here now. But this looks like crap right now because we had to change this stuff. So we're going to change the frequency bands to uh, 500 just to make it look nice and blend together. Maximum height, we're going to make this, let's see, let's play around with 3000 right now. Change the audio duration to 350 and then change the audio offset to negative 330 because this will pretty much blend everything and make it nice. Now change the thickness to whatever you want. Uh, we're gonna do 2.5. And we're going to do something important to change the side to side B, and also change the digital display to analog lines. So now let's look something like this. So let's play from the beginning. Now that we can have that rendered out. So as you can see over here, these are the highs, and this is the low down here. The song has a lot going on. Every song is gonna look different, so you just have to play around with it. We're gonna change the inside color to white, and then the outside color to white as well, so it looks like this. Change the thickness to five, see what that looks like. Uh, that's too thick for me, so 3.5 is where I want to set that at. And now, simply, since that is done, right-click on this layer and duplicate it. I don't see duplicate in here, so pretty much click on this layer, click Control-C, and then Control-V. That'll duplicate that layer. Now simply click on your next layer and rename this um, AS2. So these are going to be dots so pretty much change this analog line to dots and we are going to make the height 4000 so they go above our current lines so that should look something like this but now that we can't see this line because this AS2 layer is not linked to the audio layer so it once you have to link that to the audio layer again and play it That sounds so weird when it's rendering out, but um, I noticed that it was a little bit higher, so I'm gonna make this 5,500. So let's render this out real quick. See what that looks like. And 
voila. Let's see what this looks like. All right, so that looks decently good. So now we're gonna do one last final touch. Make sure nothing is selected. Hold down this area up here by clicking and then select the rectangle tool and make your stroke whatever color you want and your fill, all that stuff. And just drag this the length of your timeline or the length of your project or however you want. And then unselect that layer and then do the same thing for a vertical one. And we will simply change this vertical one to make the position modifiable. Uh, let's animate or like let's make sure this is centered and let's put this other beginning using the first one and change the position but first we have to make sure we're at the beginning of the line click this timeline button right here and then drag to the end of our song right here and drag this all the way out to the end right there so now that it automatically animates itself so we have this little animated timeline Awesome, that is pretty much the tutorial, and if you wanted the time code um, on there, just type in time code up here, text, drag that down to um, a solid or like a shape layer, or something like that, and you will have this time code that you can manipulate over here. But I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory for you guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm glad it worked for you guys. Please comment below, tell me what you guys want in the future, because I love making stuff.